But what I am most excited about is to be here with one of the world's foremost leaders on climate change, Al Gore. You know, about a decade ago, Al made a movie called An Inconvenient Truth. Now, maybe some of you have seen it, but if you haven't, I hope you'll watch it tonight. Now, it doesn't have a lot of special effects, but it does have a lot of drama. And here's the main message. Climate change is real, it's urgent, and America can take the lead in the world in addressing it, right? We here in America can develop new clean energy solutions. We can transform our economy. We can rally the world to cut carbon pollution. And above all, we can fulfill our moral obligation to protect our planet for our children and our grandchildren. Now, let me just say, Remember, let's remember what's at stake. I'm running against a guy who denies science, denies climate change, says it's a hoax created by the Chinese. So this is something that Al Gore has been working on for a really long time. And I want you to know how far back he goes. It was in 1982 when he held the very first hearing on climate change in the House of Representatives with the world-famous climate scientist Jim Hansen. And then when Al became a senator, he continued to raise the alarm and look for solutions. And as vice president, he led America's efforts to negotiate the Kyoto Protocol to cut greenhouse gas emissions. And you take all this together, those 30 years of leadership led Al Gore to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2007. I was very proud because he had been determined and persistent and in the face of a lot of people in public life, in business and elsewhere, who were trying to diminish the importance of the science, he never wavered. And in the years since, the climate challenge has only grown more stark. And I will tell you this, it is one of the most important issues at stake in this election. Look at it this way. Our next president will either step up our efforts to address climate change, to protect our planet, to protect our health, and to create good jobs that cannot be outsourced by growing our clean energy economy, or in the alternative, we will be dragged backwards and our whole future will be put at risk.